So we're gonna have a big challenge to begin with because of all the flood rains the far north has had earlier in the month, uh, we're gonna have to cross the river here. We're timing it so that it's right on low tide, um, but it's still gonna be close to a meter of water. There's the Dane tree there. And we're just driving upstream until we find a spot to cross. Over that way. Right. Here we are at the Daintree Crossing. I mean, you can see that water flowing. Leon's going to walk it out, even though it's full of crocodiles. You be careful out there. Let me stick the drone up. Far out. You wouldn't want to do it on high tide, that's for sure. Beautiful little morning. Yeah. Pretty cracking. Yep. Right out. Yeah, so that's a bit deeper than a quad bike can handle. He's definitely flowing, man. Yeah. I mean, what do you reckon now? What's the base like? Sandy with a bit of rock. But the problem with that is this current really washes it out from the tide. Yeah. Far out. <laughs> it's pretty deep. Looks like we've been defeated at the crab track, so. New well, location. There's always a uh, plan B opportunity. You're a legend, mate. Good on you. Thanks, mate. So, new plan we're going to use the Daintree Ferry to get across, <laughs> and we're going to drive up to Woodjil Woodjil, and we're going to hit it from there. Yeeoo! Leon's roadside diner. Yeah. What's for lunch, Leon? Beautiful wraps, mate. Uh, um, nice tuna and fresh salad, nice and cold. Look at this workbench. The lettuce, the lettuce has a little yeah. bit of uh, dirt on there, so we need to wash the lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even that's not an issue. Tell you what, you make roadside dining look easy. That's it, mate. What that's a backdrop, hey? Easy. Gotta be easy. At when Rory Meg Falls. Mm -mm. Oh, outlook, look out. Beautiful. You could do one of those cooking shows, you know, where they always plonk them somewhere yeah, pretty. Yeah. What do you reckon, Dino? Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good for track food. Yeah, absolutely. Very low pressure. Should be sitting at about five. Hey Jamil. Hey. There you go, mate. Pretty good. That's the way. Now that I'm um, now you can get up and sorted the puncture I've, out. I've pumped Just my tires up, so to uh, so to speak, Still and figured it literally. Not the tire pressure's pretty bad. A little bit of a hole in the tire there, but all sorted.
Keep coming that line. Huh? Keep coming that line, I reckon. That line? Yeah, just turn your wheels that way. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. You're gonna pick up on that. Here we are, base camp. Going down for a bit of a swim. Really pretty spot. Dino's gone. Now he's up on the hill. Fantastico. Leon's in the water. How's this for a campsite? Magic. <laughs> <laughs> We thought we were coming up to a lookout, but we've actually stumbled across somebody's house. Check out the view. He's literally on top of the world. Have a look at this. No wonder it was such a steep climb. We're on one of the tallest peaks. On top of the world. Oh, it's incredible.
good, man. Thank you. Jamil, what do you got there, buddy? This is um, one of the best eating things in the world. Tropical fruit, durian fruit. Not for the faint-hearted. <laughs> Here, you try some? Yeah. You, you, you don't want to be sharing a tent with somebody who's just eaten this. Oh, really? Tastes pretty good. How am I? One of our friends we met along the way gave us this one, didn't he, Jamil? He certainly did. He um, was very self sufficient and very generous. Mm. Nice. Tastes good. Makes you fart. I'll get some more. Tree Ferry, Jamil's just getting a couple of nice photographs. Last shots. We've survived. How's this for a sunset? Yeah. 